Good morning, this is Pat Walker at MissionWinners.com. I hope you're all having a good, safe weekend. Time to get away from the machines, do other things. I was just glancing at a few things in here and I wanted to make a video. This is for everybody. And my background is in investing, as you know, and but also education. Still involved with education. I love to, I just love to help people and try to help people. I think it's very important. And I wanted to share something with you. A lot of people say, gosh, you know, I don't know wish you kind of had a good overview of the market. I mean, I can look at the, you know, the spiders and the cues and the diamonds, but is there a way to maybe break it down a little bit more? And the answer is, yeah, there is. It's a way to help you focus, and that focus should lead to increasing profitability. So here we go. Look at these right here. These are all the, not all, but most of the major industry ETFs right there. I don't have them sorted in any particular order right here. But there they are. I'm going to leave them up as I make this video and go through them. You can say, why? Well, if you want, you could copy and paste this right here so that you got it in your system. And this is something you go through every day. And you can say, boy, what's, what's been strong? What, what could lead the next advance? And I want to show you what we do. I'm just going to take it from the top, XLU. If you take a look every time, you can say, what, what ETF is that? Up here, you'll see on every one that I click, it'll give you the ticker symbol, but what it is. Utilities. This is the utilities ETF. So you're just scanning this list, and we're just going to do it together. You scan in this list. It tells you, well, I guess utilities are kind of lagging. You know, I think I'm going to move on. Hey, you know what? Smart. There you go. There's utilities. Here we go. There's gold. Gold's above the 50-day. It's close to the 20-day. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, I think maybe I'll remember that. Here we go. Consumer discretionary. Above the 50-day. Above the 20-day. Above the 8-day. Oh, hey, consumer discretionary. Hmm, maybe I need to check that out. You can see where I'm going with this. Look at XLK. Look at that. Let's do a compare and contrast. Here's XLU. Goal. Excuse me, utilities. Here's technology. Hmm, maybe I need to look deeper into technology. It's doing pretty good here. Keep on going. Consumer staples. Well, now we've got two different consumer areas that look kind of ragged. Right here's consumer staples. Right there's consumer discretionary. That's a little bit better, but consumer staples? Definitely lagging. Move on. Don't look at stocks in this group. Materials. Materials are starting to come back a little bit. Okay, maybe it's something worth watching. Financials, hanging in there. I can watch. Transports, that's eh, a little below the 50-day. There's nothing really special there. Biotechnology's hanging in there. Look at it, it's above the 50-day. The only negative I have is individual biotechnology can be really risky. So how could you solve that problem? The ETF. You could put a liminal right up here and say if it takes those out on good volume, that'd be great. Went up on good volume on Friday. Here we go. Industrials. Industrials are hanging in there above the 50-day. Gold? Gold miners. Below the 50-day, below the 200-day, below the 20 What's it tell you? I don't think I need to spend a lot of time looking for gold miner stocks. There's biotech. It's, lead, it's going up, but it's nothing really special. So guess what? I guess I won't look at the biotech. QLD, the NASDAQ 100. Look at that. Nice. Look at this. Online retail ETF. Oh boy, that looks pretty good, isn't it? Gosh, I wonder what's in that. What could that be? Um, let's see here, Bob's Internet Retail. Oh no, no, Amazon, that's the one, yeah. And there's others too. Here we go. This is the FANG stocks, okay? I just put that one in there just to see what it's doing, all right? Solar, eh, it's okay, it's all right. Home builders, dead meat. Look at that, below the physics. What's that tell you? Don't spend a lot of time looking for home building stocks. Semiconductors, oh, a little bit better. Look at the difference. Home builders, below the 50-day. Semis, above the 50. Oh, I need to look at semis. Coal, oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Coal, let's see. Gosh, what do they use coal for? Oh, to heat things up. We'll remember that. Coal, looks, looks okay. SSO, there's the S&P 500 hanging in there. Healthcare sector, lagging a little bit. Don't have to spend a lot of time with it. China, just okay, nothing special. Don't need to waste a lot of time, spend a lot of time with it. Steel, oh, steel's pretty strong. 
Gosh, let me see. How do they make steel? They need iron ore? Oh, yeah. You know what else they need? Yeah, that's right. They need heat. Coal. That's one of the ways. You connect the dots. Steel, when you see this, you know how to say, I might want to look at a couple of steel stocks. Oh, maybe like U.S. Steel? So now you've got a method, a routine. Let's keep on going here, sorry. There we go. Energy. Are you going to spend a lot of time looking at energy? I mean, folks, look at this chart. We were in this on the way up. Look at this chart. I'm going to do this one, and then I'm going to go look at that. QLD, the NASDAQ 100. Energy. Energy. Technology. Where are you going to go? I'll tell you where you're not going to go. You're not going to look at energy. Not for now. You can say, well, maybe it'll come back. Maybe it will, but I'm not going to impose my will on it. It'll tell me what to do. I look at it every day. And again, folks, you can go through these so fast once you get the routine down. There's oil. Oil's coming back a little bit. Okay, that's good to see. Here we go. There's the big financial leverage ETFs. Here we go. Metals and mining. That's okay. It's okay. It's about the moving averages. Kind of a cup and a handle formation. There's oil services. Nothing. Nothing. And then there's a leveraged biotech ETF. The good point is this. You take this list, you have it in your system, and you can scroll down very quickly and say, what do I need to look at? Oh, that's something good. That's something good. Uh, that's okay. Eh, it's all right. Eh, no, no. Eh, that's okay. That's all right. No. Nah, so-so. Oh, oh. See how it hits you? That fast. Anyway, I wanted to share that with you. I'm big on systems and routines. It's just like taking batting practice. So that's what we do. We kind of just stay focused, have systems and routines that keep us on track. And I hope this helps you. This is a great list of ETFs right here. The big, the bigger overview, okay? And I hope it helps. I hope you have a great day and I thank you.